All right, guys. So I'm back. I'm going to record a bunch of videos. So you're going to see a lot from me in your feed. So guys, we got to talk about the last figure in the endgame line, the grail to rule all endgame grails. Not really, because Loki's right over there. Loki's the true grail. It's always going to be about Loki. But uh, let's share a screen. We're going to take a, a look at the um, at the sideshow uh, video here about the uh, Iron Strange, because Iron Strange is a grail and everyone should know it. Guys, it's no secret that I never cared at all about this figure. I never really wanted it to be made. <laughs> when it was announced, I was like, well, I don't really much see the point. However, I'm willing to give it a chance. I like the Mark 50. I had it at one point. I sold it. But I'm not the biggest Doctor Strange fan in the world. I do like Doctor Strange. Uh, it looks pretty good in the box. Can't deny. But this is a concept thing, basically. Um, something that made it never made it into the film. So... That's kind of where we're at with it. the base is pretty cool uh pretty big though not going to be for everyone right uh a lot of dr strange accessories see that should have came with the mark 50 anyway those little uh i don't know what they're called exactly like repulsors um where he was fighting call obsidian that should have been with the mark 50 to begin with and the mark 50 accessories that were a separate accessory pack probably should have been included with the figures so they wouldn't have had to discount it later maybe they could have increased the price just a little bit and then included those accessories maybe not um I mean, this figure does look pretty, pretty cool. Um, it's not going to be one that makes it into my collection. I think a lot of people are going to pass on it, but it is pretty cool. It is pretty unique looking. I'll give it credit. It turned out better than I thought it would. And I do think the Doctor Strange head sculpt is pretty good. It almost looks like the head sculpt from the original Doctor Strange. Maybe the hairstyle looks like that. Um, it's not quite the Infinity War one. The head sculpt looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I mean... I kind of like the detail in the middle of the uh, the suit too. Clearly, this was a matter of like we Hot Toys was like we have eight million Mark Fifties in our warehouse. Not really. We have we have ten thousand Mark Fifties in our warehouse. What do we do with them? Sideshow was like, well, we today I'm sure don't want them. So Hot Toys was like, hmm. We saw a concept picture one time. Hear me out on this one. Iron Strange, and then you got the birth of the last Endgame figure. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much what happened. It sounds like anyway, that's what I, that's what I believe anyway. But, uh, yeah, they go over articulation. It's probably similar articulation to the regular Mark 50. I would assume a lot of the typical Mark 50 accessories. Um, the Mark 50 was not a super popular suit anyway. So, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe that's debatable. Infinity War was a super popular film, but I think a lot of people, Mark 50 was kind of divided. It was kind of like, I like it. And then half the crowd was like, well, it's kind of like Power Rangers. -y. I, I don't really like it that much. Not really feeling it. Um, I really liked it because I liked what it did in the film. And I think it looked pretty cool. Um, the accessories on this one are pretty cool. However, look at how much space you have to dedicate to this. You have to really be a big Iron Man fan and a really big Strange fan at that also to dedicate this much space and to pay $400 plus for it if you're in the United States. So that's a lot, a big base. Uh, you don't have to use all the accessories. I get that, but it does look pretty cool. Maybe you could get these accessories and use it for the Mark 50 like they should have been there to begin with, but they're not. So we deal with, we work with what we have, not with we see the world as it is, not as we would like it to be. So, um, pretty cool looking figure. Uh, I, I, this is a very easy pass for me as a release. I think you guys, most people are probably going to look at this and be like, oh, okay, cool. Anyway, so they're going to be like, when's uh, Shang-Chi coming out? <laughs> like, when's uh, Luke Skywalker, man? When's Cromando coming out? They're going to forget about this, like, in a week. That's what I would say. Um, however... Not taking anything away from the figure. It is pretty cool looking. I think it, it just feels unnecessary, I guess I would say. But maybe other collectors out there really, really want it. You guys are going to have to let me know in the comments below. It's not for me, but it's not terrible. I think it's a pretty cool looking figure. But uh, it would never be one that would make it into my collection. Even if they discounted this thing to $150, I still would not purchase it. Because it would take up space in my collection room. And that's $150 I could put towards something I do actually want. So for me, this is a uh, tier six, if you will. <laughs> it's not it's not a very uh, desired or sought after character. But again, let me know in the comments what you guys think below. And uh, per usual, you can find this whole first look on the Sideshow Collectibles YouTube channel. So check that out if you want to watch the full thing with some audio, with some presentation. This is just merely a reaction. I am merely a reactor. So that's what I'm doing here. So um, yeah, guys, bye. See you in the next video. There could be another one. You don't know. Bye. Anyway, bye.